It rises some 525 feet above the bay, blazing white against the sky. The centerpiece of a creation that blends architecture and engineering in a way no one has done it before. There's chaos and there's order, okay? And when you bring the two together, you get electricity. How are you going to make them work? And that's when, for me, ideas start to really pop. Donald McDonald is the man who came up with the idea to build a single tower self-anchoring suspension bridge on a scale never tried before. Let's start with the design itself. It doesn't look like any other bridge I've ever seen. Why, why is it so different looking? Well, the thing about the bridge that makes it quite different structurally is a self-anchoring suspension bridge. So what does that mean? Everyone is familiar with the Golden Gate Bridge. Its separate twin cables are suspended over twin towers and then anchored to the ground in concrete and rock. McDonald's design is radically different. It uses a single continuous cable that is anchored to the roadway itself. It was a way that you do a suspension bridge without anchoring the cables into the ground. Here's how it works. Engineers build the deck on temporary supports. Then the tower goes up, and looping up and over that tower are strands of steel cable, each the thickness of a pencil, that wrap around and back over the tower before being anchored to the deck. Workers then bundle the strands together to form the 10 million pound main cable that holds up the parallel roadways which hang right alongside the huge tower without actually touching it. And you're not going to believe how McDonald came up with that tower design. Five, four, we have ignition. Tell me about the Saturn V rocket and how all of that works into the way this tower looks. Well, you're one of the first people I've actually shown this idea because I had to get something that was out there that I felt would be lasting for the next 50 years. And I felt, well, there'd be a lot of space exploration. There'll be rockets here and there. So he patterned the design after the Saturn V, the rocket that took the astronauts to the moon. His original drawings show the striking similarities. And it has a lot of similar, the base of it is like the base of our tower. The vertical elements and negative spaces are like ours. The top has these rounded elements, it's like ours. So when I matched them up, it was just dynamite how they came together. Bringing elements together is a hallmark of McDonald's design. His almost compulsive need to match things up can be seen throughout the bridge. If you look at the piers that are under the main decks, the viaducts, you'll see all the corners are the same shape as the legs of the tower, the same shape as in the light standards that are held up. So this pattern's repeated everywhere we can so we can reinforce it. No detail has been overlooked, from the color white to match the huge container cranes of the Port of Oakland, to the geometric slope of the single cable to match that of the Great Golden Gate. What do you want the average guy, the guy who drives to work across that thing, what do you want him to understand about this? The thought that went into the artistic side of it. It's a mixture of, we say, architecture and engineering. And when they come together, that's when you get the best bridges in the world.